everybody, happy Thanksgiving. We're on our way to some family's houses, and as always around the holidays, <laughs> yeah, say it again, Claire. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> you wanna to remember to respect your child's bodily autonomy, and what that means is to not force hugs or kisses. It can get a little tricky at family's houses, especially with grandmas and grandpas, because they want hugs and kisses, but just remember that if your child says no or refuses, respect that. They can give high fives. Give me a high five, Claire. <laughs> and they can do fist bumps or they can just wave. Um, sometimes it, it's natural and normal because we're, it's so ingrained in us for it to come out of our mouth like a, uh, give your grandma a kiss, it's time to get going. And that's okay, that's fine to try and you know get them to do that. But if they say no, respect that. The next thing is what do you do if you have a family member who's trying to get your child to give them a hug or a kiss? Um, if you see that, you can absolutely step in if your child, you know, seems that your child needs some help. Step in and say, you know, oh, it looks like he doesn't really want to right now. That's okay. How about just a high five? Give grandpa a high five. You know, and you can do that. We do want to, um, you know, it is socially appropriate to say goodbye to people, so it's okay to try and encourage that. But also keep in mind for the holidays that our kids get really tired really fast. It's, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming for us, and it's overwhelming for them, too. So, if they are absolutely refusing Mommy, to do I'm anything... Tired. No, Claire, you're not tired. Not yet. <laughs> so, if... If um, they absolutely don't want to do anything, that's okay. You're just going to make things worse if you try and force it. So that's it. Have a really happy holiday. And Claire, say happy Thanksgiving again. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Bye, everyone.